guys, a Bitter here, and today we are playing, well not playing, we are making a return to roleplay Wednesday, guys. Finally, I do it. It's Wednesday, and I'm roleplaying. So today, we're going to be going over some r slash entitled parents. Now, if you guys don't know who entitled parents are, they're people who get think they can get whatever they want and not pay for it. So, uh, w when I start this video, you guys are going to know exactly what I'm talking about because these people are douchebags bags so we're just gonna title parents where an entitled mother gets punched in the face a little backstory i worked at mcdonald's for just over a year during that year i never really got the hang of making ice cream cones many got messed up many got given away one day on shift at the counter i saw an ice cream cone pop up on my order screen other crews seemed busy so i took it upon myself to make a cone knowing i am terrible at it we're supposed to fill the bottom of the cone and do no less than five swirls, ideally seven. I filled the bottom just fine, but by the time I got to the third swirl, the ice cream looked like it was about to fall over. Normally, other employees would just throw the whole cone out and start over. I'm not like that. I remember back to being a customer, standing in the lobby and seeing employees throw out ice creams. So I did what any good McDonald's employee should do. I took that messed up deformed cone, wiggled it to the side so it was upright, and walked through the lobby until I came across a kid. He was deep in his Happy Meal, so I tapped on Entitled Mom's shoulder and quietly asked Entitled Mom if her kid would like a free ice cream. She shrugged with a, sure, whatever, so I got the kid's attention and gave it to him. Huge smile on his face. It always made me feel good to do this, and it costed the company nothing since it was going in the garbage anyways. I go back to the counter. Another crew member had already made the cone while I was in the lobby, so I got back to my usual duties. Cleaning, taking orders, putting out orders, making coffee, etc. When Entitled Mother comes up to my till with the cone, very angry. What's this? The free ice cream cone I just gave you? She pulls out her phone. Why doesn't it look like this? Do you not know how to do your job, right? I look at her phone. It's our website with a picture of the cone pulled up. I gave you that cone because it doesn't look like that. I commonly give away cones for free that don't come out right. How is that fair for my kid? Pardon? It was free ice cream? Yeah, but why is it all deformed like this? The ones on the website are at least twice as big. I couldn't make it as big as it should, so I gave it to you for free. At this point, my manager is standing over my shoulder, well aware of the situation. My manager was a pretty funny guy. He loved to poke fun at Karens like this. So he started making an ice cream behind me. Probably the biggest ice cream I've ever seen. Easily 12 plus swirls. Almost twice as large as the one in our pictures, easily two feet tall. See, at least he knows how to do his job properly. Hey, she waves him down. That's for me. He messed up mine. My manager said, actually, it's for OP. He's about to go on break and he deserves an ice cream after dealing with problem customers. I say, now, is there anything I can actually help you with? Yeah, free ice cream shouldn't be messed up ice cream. The manager nudges me aside and stands at the till. Look, lady, the ice cream you got was free. Free. F-R-E-E. -E. You don't get to return or exchange something that was free. Either go back to your table and sit down, or I'm going to need to ask you to leave. I got my break extended from 30 minutes to 45 minutes, ate my huge ice cream, and went about the rest of my shift as normal. Twas a good day that I will remember forever. <laughs> I feel sorry for the kid who got the ice cream cone ripped away from him, and he's probably just sitting there, waiting for his mother to come back, thinking, But I wanted the ice cream. Our next Reddit post is from Shy Girl Turn Sassy. My aunt, my dad's sister, has always been the textbook entitled grunt. When I was a kid, she never missed an opportunity to make me feel like garbage. From thinly veiled insults to outright verbal and emotional abuse, she threw what she could at me in an attempt to break me. Of course, the disgust she felt for me and the fault she found in my dad's parenting never stopped her from mooching stuff off of him or asking him for favors without ever giving anything in return. She and her husband considered their son to be a gift from the heavens, and he too grew up to be a narcissistic bully who loved to torment me, even though I was seven years younger than him. My mom passed away when I was one year old, and both my aunt and grandmother had been abusive to her as well. But that's another tale for another time. 
This is about the time that she, along with her son, ruined my 10th birthday. This incident resulted in me being put off birthdays and deciding to never celebrate them again. I just couldn't see them as a cause for celebration. My entire extended family, which included the said aunt, uncle, and cousins, along with some other relatives, were at our home, and my dad and stepmom had gone out to run some errands. My cousin had invited some of his friends over, even though my dad and stepmom didn't know them. My dad allowed them to come after my aunt whined incessantly about how her son would be bored if his friends weren't there. I remember sitting in my room and playing with my dog. I knew my cousin would be down there, and I usually did what I could to avoid him. At that time, I suffered from a pretty bad stutter, and when I got upset or angry, it only got worse. This is something my cousin loved to make fun of, and of course, my birthday would be no different. He demanded that I come downstairs to talk to his friends. When I refused, his mother told me to stop being rude and do as I was told. I was a powerless kid, so I really had no other choice. I went down to the living room, and my cousin introduced me to his buddies in his usual condescending way, as the birthday girl. He handed me a novel and told me to read out loud. I tried to read properly, but failed. I was surrounded by judgmental stares, and it made me nervous. I stuttered, which is exactly what my cousin was hoping for. He and his friends began to snicker. I got angry and stopped reading. My cousin called me a freak. His friends looked at me as though I was on display at a zoo exhibit. I wanted to prove them wrong, that I wasn't a freak, that I could read. I tried reading again. This time, on account of me being angry, the stutter was much worse. My cousin decided to mock my stutter, and all but one of his friends roared with laughter. The one that didn't actually notice my tears and told the others to knock it off. He asked if I was okay. My cousin told him not to bother, it's just a joke, and that I was just an oversensitive baby. My rage was boiling over, and I threw the book at my cousin's face and stomped out. My aunt had seen what had happened and decided to pull me by my hair and drag me back to the living room. She told me to apologize to my cousin. I refused. She told me I needed to be taught a lesson for being a brat. I tried to tell her what had happened. She chuckled and said, So what? He's your cousin and he's older than you. You need to respect him. Now apologize. I refused again, this time with a, No, I hate you. I hate all of you. All the while, crying and shaking with anger. This didn't sit well with my aunt, and she slapped me before asking me why I didn't just die in the womb. She told me I was a troublemaker, just like my mother had been. That she knew the day I was born that there was something wrong with me. That an evil grunt like my mother couldn't possibly produce a normal kid. This was it. I balled up my fist and connected it to my aunt's face. I punched that grunt so hard I busted her lip. By now, all the other relatives had heard the commotion and had gathered in the living room. The moment my fist connected with my aunt is when my dad and stepmom walked in through the front door. The aunt started fake crying. She berated my father for not raising me right and went on and on about how I was a violent, ill-mannered brat, etc, etc. The other relatives, too, expressed their disappointment in me. My dad asked me what the heck I thought I was doing. I tried to tell him what my cousin had done and what my aunt had said about my mother. Unfortunately, my stutter reared its ugly head again, and all that came out of my mouth was gibberish. My tears were flowing again. In the meantime, my cousin had decided to take all his friends and bail. I was punished for my beastly conduct. My birthday celebration was canceled. My dad called my friends and asked them not to come over. I didn't cut any cake. The presents I was to receive from my parents were stocked away. I was banished to my room and stayed there for the rest of the day. I ate lunch and dinner alone. The next morning, no one spoke to me. I was given my breakfast platter, which I ate in my room. That afternoon, my cousin's friend, the one who had told them to stop bullying me, came over. He told my dad what my cousin had done and what my aunt had said. My dad sat me down and apologized to me, but added that it was still wrong of me to punch my aunt. I just sat there silently. I was emotionally numb. Okay, I got a couple things to say. My dad kept telling me he loved me. Shut up. All right. Let's get real age bitter in the room for a second, all right? This aunt is messed up that even, like, my emotions are getting into this part because you, this, aunts aren't supposed to hate their children or, or call them, like, names. 
that aunt deserved to get pun- No, no, no. She didn't deserve to get punched. She deserved to get Falcon punched right in the nose. Just Falcon punch! Or just Superman punch. I don't- This is a terrible person. Guys, if you're watching this and you have an entitled parent, comment where you live down below because now I'm going to start a series called Entitled Mom Hunter. Okay? Actually, I'll start a new channel. Yes, if you have an entitled person around you whose family, just- just give me a ring. I'll put it like a number down in the description, you guys, and it'll be a new channel. Go and link in the description. I, okay. Entitled Mom Hunter, go subscribe. Me and then he was sorry. I just coldly stared at him. My stepmom suggested a belated birthday celebration. I refused. I told them I didn't want a birthday party and that I wouldn't celebrate my birthday ever again. I kept my word. Every year since that day, my parents would ask me what I wanted for my birthday, and I always replied with nothing at all. I would ask them not to get any cakes and not to invite any guests. The day I was born now meant nothing to me. Even now, after all these years, I don't celebrate my birthday. Instead, I celebrate the day I landed the job that enabled me to move away from my family and start a new life. I consider it the day of my rebirth. It was the day I was able to leave all the pain and anger behind and could plan for a life that I would live on my own terms. The even more messed up part is that she thinks her birthday is worthless because of this stupid aunt. Seriously, entitled parent hunter, just call the 1-800 number down in the description, I'll pick up, tell me the hit, and I'm there, okay? My aunt and uncle's sucky parenting ended up costing them dearly. If you want to know what became of them, do let me know in the comments. It's pretty satisfying. And then, OP posts a link to that story, which I'll cover right now. My aunt, my dad's older sister, has always doted on her son. I'm Indian, and in my country, son preference is a pervasive social disease. Most people, regardless of social status, religion, etc., place great value in their sons, and daughters are seen as a burden on the family. My aunt was no exception. Ever since she was a kid, she had this messed up, one-sided competition with my dad. I, a woman, am my dad's only child. This gave her an opportunity to constantly make passive-aggressive remarks that my dad was so unfortunate to have a daughter. His line would end with him, etc., etc. She and her husband spoiled their son to the point that he became a narcissistic bully. He would often mock my stutter, cheat on his girlfriends, and make unreasonable demands of his parents. But did they ever try to discipline him or say no to him? Of course not. Their prince could do no wrong. If he made fun of my stutter, I was a piece of trash who deserved it. If he cheated on his girlfriend, she must have neglected him. If he made sexist remarks about his female boss, well, he's a man. You get the picture. Years went by, and he just kept getting worse. When he was living with them, he at least pretended to respect them. But when he landed a very high-paying job and was able to move out, it was as if he forgot they even existed. He and his wife hardly ever spoke to them. By now, my uncle had retired. My aunt had never worked. They had very little money left, as they had spent it all on their son. They paid for his education, his vacations, and his wedding. Now, they barely had enough to put food on the table. My dad would help them as much as he could. In 2011, my cousin's wife became pregnant, and during her third trimester, my cousin asked his parents to move in with him and his wife. We all knew it was because they wanted free caretakers for the baby. But my aunt just couldn't shut up about how wonderful her son was for wanting to take care of his parents. By now, I was well established in my field and was looking forward to a successful career. She taunted my father one last time, saying my education and career would be of no use as I was just a daughter and could never take care of him the way her son would take care of her. My dad just smiled and wished her well. She and her husband moved to my cousin's place, who lived in another city. My dad would often receive calls and texts from her bragging about what a great life they had. She sounded a bit too chipper. My dad began to suspect that all wasn't right. About six months after they left, my dad said he was going to visit them as he was getting worried about his sister. He asked me and my stepmom to accompany him. We... No! Technical difficulties, guys. Be right back. Okay, so I'm... okay guys, I'm back and I kind of fix the way it looks so I'm not getting in the middle of the screen and also so that I have my own little room so I can back up and you guys can actually see me. Uh...
Don't mind that. <laughs> um, so let's continue the story. One last time. Saying my education and career would be of no use as I was just a daughter and could never take care of him the way her son would take care of her. My dad just smiled and wished her well. She and her husband moved to my cousin's place, who lived in another city. My dad would often receive calls and texts from her bragging about what a great life they had. She sounded a bit too chipper. My dad began to suspect that all wasn't right. About six months after they left, my dad said he was going to visit them as he was getting worried about his sister. He asked me and my stepmom to accompany him. We reluctantly agreed. We arrive at their place and it's truly stunning. A luxurious home in a posh locality. This was no surprise as my cousin is very successful. What did shock us was the way he was treating his parents. They were practically servants in his house. My aunt tended to the baby, cooked and cleaned. My uncle tended to the gardens, took care of the cars, and went grocery shopping, etc. My cousin could easily afford maids, drivers, etc. But why would he when his parents were now his free slaves? What was even worse was the way he treated them. My cousin-in-law would often yell at my aunt and would just order her around. My uncle had this vacant and defeated look in his eyes. I'd never liked him, but couldn't help but feel a tinge of pity. My dad took my aunt aside and told her she didn't have to live like this, that he could make arrangements for her and her husband. My aunt put on a fake smile and said, Nonsense, we couldn't be happier. Anytime my cousin or his wife said something cruel to her or told her to shut up when she tried to make conversation, my aunt would put on a smile and act as though it was just the sweetest thing anyone had ever said to her. It would have been funny had it not been so pitiful. Memories of all the horrible things she'd said and done to me and my dad were still fresh in my mind. And the schadenfreude was real. My aunt's fake, rueful smiles and the way she tried to cover up how her son was really treating her is the cringiest thing I have ever seen. My aunt and uncle often stressed the importance of having a male heir. They claimed that their son would be their provider while I, a daughter, would be a burden till the day I was married off. Surprise, surprise, the exact opposite has happened. While they were basically slaves in their son's house, I'm unmarried, have a loving partner, wonderful pets and friends, and a great career. My dad has his own restaurant and seems very happy with his work. Entitled parents often assume that their kid can be a butthole to everyone else, but he would never do that to them. Boy, were they in for a shock. Edit. My cousin hasn't completely escaped karma either. A few months ago, he got fired from his job. And his boss at his new place of employment is his ex-girlfriend whom he cheated on and dumped. All because he didn't like the fact that she was more successful than him. She's a wonderful person and won't misuse her power, but I'm sure working under his ex is eating my cousin alive. Man, these stories went from depressing to satisfying real quick. OP, I'm glad you're in a better spot, and I'm glad that your entitled aunt, cousin, and uncle are getting what they deserve. That was r slash entitled parents, and if you don't hit the like button, then that makes you an entitled viewer. Well then. <laughs> well guys, that was r slash entitled parents. Go check out his channel where he reads a lot of Reddit posts about different kinds of people. Likes entitled parents, choosing beggars, and other types of stuff, including, including entitled kids. And I'm not kidding. Entitled person hunter gonna be a thing right call the 1-800 number down in the description below and i'll pick up all right all right all right but anyway guys leave a like and a comment tell me if you love what lo role, <laughs> role play wednesday and yeah bye guys have a bitter day <laughs>